Hey, what's up, everybody? Tanvir Open here. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, we are going to learn how we can create a speed blur effect in Adobe Photoshop. So, let's jump into Photoshop. This is the image we are going to put our speed blur effect. Now, click the object selection tool and then click the bike just drag and drop here now you can see the bike is properly selected from its background now go to selection and select inverse and then press ctrl or command j from your keyboard now you can see we have created a new layer without the bike now go to filter and select blur here we can use two options to create the speed blur effect motion blur or radial blur first of all i will show you the motion blur option click on it and then you can see an interface like this and also make sure that your preview option is checked you can increase and decrease the speed blur by increase or decreasing the distance in pixels you can see the difference so or also you can move the angle based on your need i think minus six is good for this image click ok and now select the layer and click on this mask icon to add a layer mask and then go to the brush tool select it make sure your foreground color is black and then brush on the image so that bike is properly visible move your mouse over the image now it's fine you can see the difference this is the previous image and this is updated so we have created this blur effect using the motion blur and now we'll use the second method Press Ctrl and click on this layer thumbnail at the same time. You can see the object will be selected without the bike. And then press on the background and press Ctrl J from your keyboard. It will create a new layer again. Then again go to the filter tab and go to blur and select radial blur. You can decrease or increase the amount. Make sure that your blur method is zoom and quality is good. And using this blur center option, you can set the blur angle to any side. We'll set it to the other right side and now press OK. You can see the change. So again, add a layer mask and select the brush tool. Move your mouse over the bike so that the bike is properly visible. So we are done. This is the main image and this is the first one. We have created this blur effect using the motion blur and the second one we have created this using the radial blur so that's all for today i'll get back to you soon guys now stay focused and keep learning